Hello guys, today I want to show you one thing in Claude code which is the most annoying to me personally. And if you think that I'm talking about you're absolutely right, well, you're absolutely right. But that phrase which became almost a meme embodies more global concept which means that Claude tries to stay positive no matter what. And let me show you the example that I got just now while working on a demo project. I was working on a filament demo and asked Cloud Code to generate automated tests for filament and live wire. And I cannot even scroll up to the actual prompt, but it was just generate artisan tests and run them. So it started generating and test after test it's executing make test and so on and then we go to the first attempt of actually running those tests which i gave permission for and there we go php artisan test this is a laravel php and live wire and filament project and there we go bunch of errors and this is expected from the first time but the thing is what cloud code does afterwards so it tries to fix the test it finds the issue that there's database table something something and adds the refresh database which is good the next attempt still failing everything is failing now we have 403 errors and also live wire function is not found okay another round of fixing use live wire and so on so i scroll down with a lot of changes and the next round of php artisan test still failing it identifies another 403 error in filament and then what it does instead of trying to fix the issue let me simplify the tests to avoid issue so it tries to delete the code from the tests instead of fixing the code or fixing the tests so that is one kind of red flag and i noticed that specifically about cloud code or cloud sonnet i'm not sure which one is doing that but again it tries to stay positive to kind of end up with good news to the human client so now it tries to delete some code from the tests and then another attempt oh great now we have more positive tests so it did the job right right and yes that's exactly what claude thinks it says great progress of course, great progress. We don't have failing tests anymore. Yay. Only two failing tests. So it tries to fix those as well. And yeah, perfect. Again, watch the language. Everything is perfect. Everything is awesome. Everything is so positive. Now it runs all the other tests. And here we have some failed tests, which it says we still have 403 in tests. And what it does, let me remove all the HTTP tests and let me create a simple script to clean up the other test files quickly. Good. Perfect. Just read it. And now we have the summary. Test generated complete. I've successfully generated automated tests for filament resources. So check marks. Everything is good. And by the way, it says that 18 tests are failing mostly 403 errors kind of no big deal it says so i'm not sure yet at this point and then more details about what was actually generated and yeah the actual conclusion is the tests are ready and all functionality is tested and passing and this reminded me of a great article i read recently by peter steinberger where he talks about his own stack what he's using right now and why and the main thing is that while writing about cloud code he's saying that he moved mostly to codex at this time at the time of writing this article for that reason that it's language and absolutely writes and 100% production ready messages while tests fail. This is exactly what I encountered in this case. So the actual result, if I run tests manually in another terminal, so I run the full test suite, PHP artisan test, and how many errors do I have? 17 failed tests with, it says mostly 403 errors, HTTP, but the first error is about something containing records not in specified order which is nothing about 403 this is a real test failing so something is wrong either with the test or with the code generated earlier so as you saw cloud code didn't try to fix those errors but this is not the worst part the worst part is as peter said it's the language if the result of all that prompt would be kind of it would admit that i didn't complete the mission successfully here's the list of failed tests and the reasons why or at least the guesses then i could take the action or maybe reprompt something or maybe would have a better guess as a developer not as a vibe coder what actually happened now all i have is 
tests are ready, everything is fine. And if you do want to be really precise, I have, by the way, 18 tests failing for you. And now, out of curiosity, what I will do in this situation, I will roll back all those files, all those tests, so I will not accept them as part of the commit. And I will try to do the same thing in Codex with GPT-5. And there we go. I have the results from Codex, which generated four tests for me in roughly 10 minutes or so. So it was much slower than Cloud Code, but maybe more thorough. So the result is added corrected some relationships, so it found some bugs along the way. And yeah, it doesn't say anything about something succeeding or failing at all. So let's just try in separate terminal to run again, PHP Artisan test. So in case of cloud code, 17 failed tests were present. Now let's run the codex version, PHP Artisan test, 14 passed tests. The interesting part is that the number of tests is much lower. My prompt didn't specify what tests to actually create. It was just create tests for filament resources. So Codex decided to go minimal but reliable. So even the amount of assertions is very different. So Cloud Code generated 219 assertions and Codex with GPT-5 went for 74 assertions. So three times smaller tests. So if we try to see what's inside in the codex case, live wire test, search the table, assert, fill form, looks good for basic tests of whether the forms and the tables work. This is exactly what I meant by my simple prompt. So I'm not really sure what to conclude here. It's not comparison of apples to apples. As I said, Cloud Code tried to deliver more, but that more failed and left me with more manual work. But I admit that part of the problem was my short prompt and vague prompt. I cannot even show that prompt because it's too high. And if I scroll up, it still doesn't show the prompt either in Codex or in Cloud Code in that terminal. But it was basically just generate past live wire filament tests for filament resources. That's it. But yeah, in that case, I like the codex work more because it was reliable. I can trust that the tests actually work. In Cloud Code, my point of this video is the language and the results and the information or misinformation or maybe packaging and phrasing of that information to the end user, to the developer. Cloud Code is trying to be positive, cheerful, that everything is great where it actually isn't. So for that, of course, you need to double check all the automated tests and test the things manually. This is what you should do anyway with working with any AI agent or AI assistant. But I guess with Cloud Code, you need to be double careful. What do you think? Have you encountered anything like that with Cloud Code or other models or agents? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want to get more tips on Cloud Code, this was in my last newsletter issue, Cloud Code Tips. I've linked to two repositories. So there's awesome Cloud Code and I love Cloud Code with a lot of shortcut tips and workflows. So you can go to that Substack page and read the latest issue and subscribe to this free weekly newsletter that I send every Wednesday. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.